As we begin this discussion about improve, we need to think about first, how do we identify improvement options? Now, this has to be a team type of approach. This isn't an individual thing because we can get very much sidelined or myopic, closed in our visions. So what we want to do is inform a team of the people who are involved in the project, people who will be the users of the outcomes, and present with them the information that we've had that's been developed to define, measure, analyze. And at this point in time, what we want to do is, is create a team event or a meeting. As we go through this process, we see that this is going to be a creative dialogue and approach. And the, the concept there is that we're going to have three different phases to this type of meeting. There's going to be an opening where we discover options for analysis. What are all the possibilities of things we can do based on what we've seen in the data, what we know about the process, and the wide variety of perspectives that the team is offering in terms of its diversity of thinking about the process. The second phase is we go through a sorting process. We find out what are the logical relationships among the proposed alternatives, and we get rid of the duplicates or those that are integrated and consolidate them. Finally, in the closing phase, what we're going to do is make some decisions about choices of what's best for the process. In doing this, we can use some tools. In the opening phase, we're gathering ideas. And what we can use there is the process called affinity diagramming or affinity mapping. Here we write ideas on post-its, and these can come from all of the ideas that have been generated throughout the project. We put each idea on an individual post-it, write them down, and then when we're finished, we put them all randomly distributed on a wall. And then we ask some teams to start thinking about what are the affinities we see among these? What are the things that maybe have to do with training? Or what are the things that have to do with the equipment setup? Or the ideas that maybe have to do with process controls? Uh, what has to deal with uh, maybe the, the human training process? So all of those are different ideas. And what we want to do is we, we don't talk in this process, but we build mental affinities of how these ideas go together. And you stop this sorting process when you can no longer find any groups. So these are now rational subgroups also that have a particular mental affinity. The last step is we go through and identify what is the affinity, and we put a label on each of those groups. And these labels identify potential opportunities for improvement that we might want to consider. In the sorting process, we can use what's called a prioritization matrix. This is a way to illustrate what we deal with the alternative choices and compare this against a set of decision rules or criteria. Each cell in the matrix is going to reflect the score given for the combination of this option and decision criteria. As we look at this, what we see is that uh, this prioritization matrix is going to be something that we can use to summarize what's going on. One component of the prioritization matrix is a ranking technique. And this is a way to understand how we feel as a group about this particular set of options. This uh, recommended approach here is called nominal group technique. And here we're using this for closing, to get to the choices of those things we feel that are most important to recommend to management. And this cho choice is used to rank the best set, if you will, of alternatives out of the whole uh, sequence of options that we've been able to generate in the process. So once we've generated the list, we again look at the duplicates and the ideas that has actually happened with the affinity diagramming. And then the final ranking is the rankings of the entire team. And we rank them then in the highest order, and we think about those for further discussion and analysis. Finally, we put these then into the prioritization matrix. So we have the labels for the project. We analyze what we know about the process in terms of decision criteria. And then we come back, and then we'll start saying, what's the implication of this? Does this project actually have a strong potential benefit? Uh, does it ca require capital? Uh, is it requiring cultural change? Is it aligned with strategic priorities? Is there an executive sponsor who would want it? What was the score that came out of the nominal group technique? And what was the ranking? And by taking a look at this full set of information about all the alternatives we've identified, we can see what are the natural priorities to be considered for improvement.